the spring has arrived. The weather is absolutely gorgeous outside. I think it's like 20 degrees or something and it's just so lovely to be in the sun. I actually wanted to talk about one of my favorite hobbies, both in and outside for that matter, which is reading the books. I have been doing the 50 book challenges for a couple of years now and most of the years it went really well. However, last year, not so much. So one of my new, new year's revolutions this year was actually to read more, but up until now it hasn't actually been going so well. So I'm gonna make more of an effort. Those are actually all the books that I already read that I'm currently reading and that I am planning to read in the future of this year. And I just wanted to discuss some of them. First of all, there is this one. The Fold the Night Stars by John Green. I liked it so much that I got the English version, the Dutch version, and the audiobook. I really liked it. I finished it in one night. I read the English version twice. It's such a good story and it made me cry so much. And it's really funny and it's really sad and all at the same time. I think while reading this for the first time was actually the first time that I, that I read a sentence that actually had to make me laugh and cry at the same time. It was pretty amazing. I don't generally mind reading in translation. I think the translation of this book is reasonable if you're planning on reading the Dutch version as well. However, sometimes it did feel a bit off when there were very specific sort of English phrases or saying. Another book that I read recently is this one. This is the Dutch version, talking about translations. Um, it's by Niels Schusterman and the English title is called Unwind. When a child would be between 13 and 18, her, their parents had a right to sort of return them to the state and then they would be split into different parts that could be used for organ uh, transplants and things. And it's about a boy and a girl and some other people who basically try to escape that faith. And it's really good, exciting, good plotline, I think. And there's this one. This is the one that I got from my birthday by my sister. It's called Everything Smells Like Chocolate. And it's actually a Dutch book. I really like the end and it's not that big. Generally really like sort of Dutch literature. Other examples that I'm currently reading are these two. Um... This one in particular I haven't finished yet, but I've been reading it for a while because the story isn't that compelling. But the sentences are so beautiful that they want to make me throw up. I wish I could speak like this guy writes. Then, non-fiction wise, I recently finished this one. It's called um, Mein Tafel here is Plato, which is a Dutch title. And it's just little philosophical essays on, you know, current events and current trends in society. Last week I got this book which is A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. And I heard really good things about it, so I'm gonna start reading it on the train later today. The last non-fiction book that is currently on the list is something that basically combines the two reasons that I'm a really big nerd, called Harry Potter and International Relations. I really like it. It's basically um, a series of academic articles, so if you're not really used to sort of this type of writing and, and reading. I'm not sure if it's, you know, an easy read. It's definitely not. But it talks both about the phenomenon of Harry Potter and how it's sort of translated into different cultures and how it's spread around the world. And also about the world of Harry Potter and how it relates to imperialism and other international relational, you know, theories. And it's just so amazing. I really, really, really like it. And other book that I am in sort of in the middle of reading is this one. It's called The Once and Future King by T.H. White. Um, and it's basically a whole retelling of the Arthurian legends. I went to a really good bookstore, which is right around the corner there, and I basically asked the guy if, you know, he had a good book about Arthur. Well, first of all, he said De Mort d'Arthur, which is, you know, 15th century literature. Apparently this one is sort of the next big thing. It's from 1938, so it's not that recent. It's really interesting if you're interested in this legend, which, to be honest, I wasn't really until I became completely obsessed with the TV show Merlin. Or even if I still finish all the books that are currently really lined up right above my head, I think they're like 25, so that means that I'm only halfway of this 50 book challenge. So if you know any really good books that you would like to recommend to me, please leave a comment. I'm actually on my way to the park right now because this is apparently the last day of this gorgeous weather and apparently I'm in a city that's most warm of the entire country right now, so I should make use of that. And um, I will talk to you later.